Open with me to Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. Hallelujah. God has been a good God. He has sustained you if it had not been this good God then you will have been swallowed up. Hallelujah. The Lord is happening around the world, but God has been on your side. He's a good God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout glory. He's a good God. He's been a good God. He's been faithful. Hallelujah. In Job 22, Job acknowledged the goodness of God. In Job 22, 27, it says, you will make your prayer to him and he will hear you. You've been praying. Amen. And you should have the confidence to know that God has heard your prayers. You will make your prayer to him. He will hear you and you will pay your vows. Hallelujah. 28 says, you will also declare a thing, decree a thing, and it will be established for you. What have you been decreeing in this past 49 to this 50th day? I hope you've been decreeing, declaring things, and it will be established for you. Now declare, say, I shall be the head and not the tail. Above only, never beneath. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed in my coming back home. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You must declare, decree. You decree a thing and it shall be. It is, we come to know that decree is the highest form of prayers. Amen. You have to decree things over your life that I can never be poor again. Amen. Poverty is, is gone, gone forever. No, there must be a certain level of consciousness in you as the child of God. Things that you must know as you walk this walk. Years ago, I was in Austria and I finished my program and I was going back and informed my pastor that I'm coming. You know, when going back home. And my pastor said, ah, why not stay? Stay, stay there, stay there. <laughs> Amen. Of course, well, wishing me the best, you know. Stay in that Europe, stay there. I'm bragging about you all over the place. <laughs> that my, my young man is over there, you know. Stay there. Why are you coming? Why are you coming? Stay there. And I did confidently. Confident, I don't know why, but the confidence just came. I said, my heavens are open forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, my heavens are open, what? Forever. I don't know, but just some kind of spiritual arrogance. Amen. You may say it's pride or whatever, but I just, it just, God just gave me that word of decree that my heavens are open forever. And believe in me, a week back into the country, a week back in my home country, in the night vigil, a week, my pastor's wife brought a letter to me. Oh, this came to the church office. No, it's, it's, it's Akpo Nduku, it's for you. And that was my admission for PhD in Bradford. Hallelujah. I, I even forgotten that it was the church that I used as my address. That means I, I never had an address of my home. That's what that to tell you that I never had what? An address of my own. Life was what? Church. A week. Nine vision. And I, I opened it and I smiled. And she was standing there. She said, are you going back again? <laughs> I just smiled. Amen. Seeing the amount, seeing the tuition and all the required, I just smiled. I just nodded yes. Hallelujah. That is the, after 50 days, you must have that kind of confidence. Amen. Now in this land, I will not be changed away. I will only travel when I want to travel, not to be under pressure. Those are the kind of decree I'm talking about. Amen. After 50 days, 
I think I've never done 50 days before I left my home country. It was when I came here that I did my first 50 days. <laughs> 50 days of fasting. 2001 when I came, it was in the UK that I first did what? 50 days with all the work I was committed to it, with all the student work. You know when you're a student, you have to work when you're a fee-paying student. There's no, there was no excuse of anything. Not those days that, not now that uh, uh, Jews are aligned us to have uh, you know, tea or whatever. But those days we came fresh, so we came rugged. Even to drink water is the same. <laughs> those kind of rugged, you know, those kind of rugged days, you are fresh, so hallelujah. And we are committed that we cannot be disgraced. We will, no, we will not be chased out. Whether fees are piling up, it will be paid. Amen. This PhD will be completed on time. Those kind of decrees. Hallelujah. So I, I, I want to take us on that line of the believer's kingdom authority. That is the few minutes sharing. Yeah. You, must, you must, you must, you must, you must, you must. In this, in this era, in this, in this, after these 50 days, you must work with authority. You must work with what? Authority. You must, you must not be afraid. Luke 10, verse 19. Luke 10, verse 19. Luke 10, verse 19. The scripture says, Behold, I give you authority. Authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies what? Hurt you. Hallelujah. Nothing. Nothing. After this, a season like this, nothing. Take the year. Declare, I take the year. Declare, I take this year. No, you must be, you must be confident to take the year. Say again, I take this year. I take year 2024. Every day of this year, I take you in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Satan, get your hands off every day of this year. You must be intentional to declare that every day is a day of testimony. Amen. Every day is a day of what? You must testify about every day. And there's no evil, no evil news is coming near you. All this dying that people are dying shall not come near you. No one is dying around you. Nothing is dying around you. Whatever you lay as almost prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. You must take the air. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. So you must have, you must have that understanding to go into the year. Amen? If you've not started the year, this is the time to start the year. This what? This is the time to start the year. Now you go in, the right shoulder as bold as a lion. After 50 days, you must be bold as a lion to take the year. To take the year. If you've been rejected before, you go and request for acceptance. <laughs> Amen. I just want to remind you about my previous application. I'm putting it back. I'm sending it to you again for reconsideration. Hallelujah. Amen. You said it again for re what? Reconsideration. Hallelujah. Make it fresh. Amen. So, all right. We'll look at it again. That shall be the attitude. Amen. No, after 50 days, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is room for reconsideration where you've been rejected. Amen. So, what do you do? The first thing is that you must believe. The believer's kingdom authority. You must believe that there is a God. 
You know, in Luke 17, 21, the Bible says, see there, it says, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. This kingdom I'm talking about is within you. It's embedded in you. See there, or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. All that we are chasing, the kingdom, everything, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of the triune God. You are a carrier of the triune God. Amen? You are a carrier of the triune God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit lives within you. And you must go out to manifest. So you must believe that you are a carrier, Christ in you, the hope of glory. The scripture says, Amen. The Holy Spirit is within you. You are a carrier of this triumph God. Mark 9 23. Mark 9 23. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. All what? Things. All things are possible to him who believes. All things. All things are possible to him who believes. Everything. Not some things, ma. Everything. All things are possible to him who believes. Everything. Say everything. It's possible because I believe. Amen. All round success is possible. All round. All round success what? It's possible. Physically you are strong. Financially you are strong. Mentally. Maritally. Every aspect of your life. You are flourishing. Flourishing was once uh, one of our one of our royal daughters uh, conferences. Themes. You will flourish. Psalm 92 verse 12 talks about that. Psalm 92 verse 12. It says, the righteous shall flourish like what? The palm tree shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Cedar means long life. Long life. You will flourish and you will enjoy long life. That means you will not die young. You will flourish and you will enjoy your flourishing. <laughs> Amen. You will enjoy life. You will flourish and you will have long life to enjoy the benefits of the outcome of you have flourished. Not making it and, and disappearing from the feet of no, you will live long. You will see 90. You will see 100. Today I was reading and a lady, she was celebrating her fourth, a hundred years old woman, she was celebrating her, her fourth birthday. Amen. Oh, you can't get it. Huh? Huh? Okay, she was celebrating her, her 25th birthday. A hundred years old man. She was celebrating what? Her 25th birthday. You are lost. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, she was born on, on a leap. On a leap year. So, so every four years is a birthday. Every what? So 100 years is what? 25 years. Hallelujah. You'll be 100 and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. So you must believe. You must believe that all things are possible to him who believes. When I see things around me, things, when, I, when I see things that are around, around me, and it's, if, it's, if it can be done, then I can do. God is no respecter of persons. 
Amen. If he can, if you, if he can be done, if he, if he has done it, then it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If God has done it, he can do it again. And he can use you. This time around, he can, he can, he can choose to use you. Hallelujah. Child glory. Say, Father, use me. Use me as a vessel unto honor. In the name of Jesus. As you begin to give yourself to him, you will see God using you. In diverse ways that you will least expect. Diverse ways you least expect. Before you know it, you are the head of that establishment where you started as a, a junior officer. You are the CMD. Amen. You know what the CMD? Hallelujah. You are the CEO. You know what the CEO? You are the CEO. You know what the CEO? Hallelujah. You are the CFO. Hallelujah. Name them. Amen. Hallelujah. It is possible. Say it's possible. So believe, 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 believe. First John 3 verse 2. First John 3 verse 2. The Bible says, Behold, now we are children of God. Now, first John 3 2. Beloved, now, beloved, now we are children of God. And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. The fullness of God has not been revealed in you. That is why you don't, you are doubting who you are. You are what? You are doubting who you are. A lot is within you, if only you can see the God in you. Amen? If only you can see the God the potentials that God has deposited in you. If only you can have the understanding of what God has put within you, by this time you'll be doing so much of exploits. Exploits. Potentials. This morning I was reading about you know, one young man, the youngest Liverpool uh, footballer in the Premiership. A 16 year old boy. And, and, I, and I just went, you know, I just went to calculate how much you'll be receiving. <laughs> Amen. You know him? Young boy, young boy. The, the, the youngest Liverpool footballer, like, he was just introduced. And I went to calculate how much what? He'll be receiving. 16 year old boy. And I began to think about John. If this one can bring the millions at 16, what are you waiting for? Yours may not be football. You can, what God has given you, be, we want to. Amen. So you, for most of us that are the ages, we pay to go and look. People should come and pay to look at you too. Amen. That is their gift, fine. But you too, you've been giving some gifts. Each and every one of us, he has distributed to us. Every one of us, we've been empowered. He has given us special gifts. Every one of us. Every one of us. Every one of us. And we are wasting. We read the Bible about the parable of the talents and we think that the one with one is wasted. What about you that are wasted? You wasted so much of the talents. And God is taking that and giving it to somebody else. And you see the person shining, and that's when you are looking at. But God was looking at you. You say, "But I gave it to you. You didn't use it. You were chasing after other people's were talents. They were to you. Every one of us has given to us uniquely, uniquely. Every one of us uniquely. I, I hope that these past fifty days, God has opened your eyes to see what He has given to you." so that you can maximize it. Hallelujah. Chat glory. Declare, I shall never be poor. In the name God, Christ has paid. He became poor so that you can be rich. So why must you be 
the one that is still there dealing with poverty. Am I right? Christ is an understanding. It's an understanding. It's a new day. Declare, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. Hallelujah. So number two, quickly, after you believed, take action, take action. Take what? Action. Because this year you must be purposeful. Take action. Do something with that that you've known. Do something. 50 days. Do something. After 50 days, what next? What God revealed to you. Do something with every revelation. Do what? Something with every what? Revelation. Do something. Do something. Do something. Philippians 2 verse 12. Let me round up quickly. Philippians 2 verse 12 says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Walk out. Amen. Walk out. As it pertains to salvation, and it pertains to you making life work. Do something. Take action. God's promises, they are yea and they are amen. God cannot lie. We prayed so much. Prayer points were sent. You prayed the prayer points. Just say one wish from your village you still, will still be able to withstand you. No. You are seated with Christ in what? In heavenly places, high places, far above principalities and powers. Hallelujah. Amen. So which is that wish that will come and take you from, you know, from God's presence when you are with Christ? One wish from one village. Say it's impossible. I travel, I, I travel, I travel once across nations, not to my village, and I've got an elder sister in the village. She came and she, she heard that I came. She ran to where I am and she hugged me and all that. And she said, So, so person, so, so auntie will come and welcome you to don't hug her when she's coming to hug you to welcome you. Don't allow her to hug you. And I know the auntie will come. So, after some time, the auntie was coming over to hug me. And within seconds, I have to decide. So she like run. Amen. For the hours or days I will stay in the village, she must have been running from this auntie. And she was coming, I opened my hands wide. Say, come, 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 come. Just come, just come. <laughs> and I opened my hand, I was saying, fire, 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 Holy Ghost. She came, I all got very well. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You want to be running. You are afraid of the giants in the land. David was not scared of the Goliaths. Amen? David was not scared. He told Saul, your servant has dealt with bears and lions. And this Goliath, this uncircumcised Philistine, will fall in the same order. Amen? You must have that kind of Understanding, take action. He took action. He said, He said, He went, He went, He went, asked him, Say, What is the price of the man that will cut off the, the head of this, this uncircumcised Philistine? He went for the price, He went for the bargain. He went to, He said, What is it that is at stake? Because I want that price. Amen. And that should be our attitude. Hallelujah. That should be your attitude. Take action. Take action. Take action. In John, John, John 2, verse 5, you know, the mother of Jesus told this, told the servants there. He said, Whatever he says to you, do it. So what has God informed you of? What has God spoken to you about your life in these past 50 days? I believe God spoke to you. And I believe you heard from God. 
And he, he, yeah, he spoke in diverse ways. So what did God, what did he say? If he spoke to you, if he said something, then do it. Don't be scared any longer. Amen? Do it. And the best time to take action is when God has spoken. Amen? Because God cannot lie. God cannot fail. God cannot violate his word. So the best time to take action is when God has spoken. You can be afraid of doing something because you've not heard clearly, but once you've heard clearly from God, take direction while I'm struggling how will I explain this amen God spoke take action so for the next about 8 months no action amen hallelujah when, 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 when I had the call of God after all the revelations and everything, encounters, I traveled out to my pastor back in Africa and I told him that, yes, I know you were excited that I was coming to Europe, that I was studying, but it seems God is <laughs> calling us to do his work. Of course, pastors, that, you know, all we want of you is to go and shine. Amen. Not to come and suffer like us. <laughs> Amen. You know, we pray for you so that you can go and be all that, no? Then my pastor said, this is this young man again. You want to be like us? God have mercy. I thought you were going so that you can make all the pounds and dollars, no? And come and support us. You too want to be like us. It is well. But he said, as a man of God, he said, pray about three things. Three things. Number one, the timing. The what? The timing. Jesus knew the time. He said, my time has not come. He knew the time. Number three, he said, the location where Jesus couldn't do anything in his village. Amen? He said, nowhere, nowhere God is sending you to. Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Europe, America, know the location. Jesus knew. Jesus knew the location that he can't do anything in his village. Amen. You will know. Not everywhere that there's an opportunity you go. Amen. Location matters. You can be frustrated because you are in the wrong location. Am I right? Your life can be you, know, you can be frustrated because of the wrong location you put yourself. Then the last thing my pastor told me was the kind of ministry. Hallelujah. There are diverse kinds of ministries. Am I right? Yours can be a kingdom financier. Make the money and just like God will do concerning most of you. Amen. Because it will take you so far that anything kingdom, you will be so releasing. It will put you in strategic places whereby you will advance God's kingdom effortlessly. Don't the, the man, the Joseph of, of Arimathea, that was the ministry. Nobody was qualified to carry Jesus' body. 
But when he showed up, they willingly gave him the body. Amen. I see some kingdom financiers here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Years ago, when, when, when we had a speaker from the School of Missions, not the speaker, a pastor, he came in and talked about missions, going, going out for missions, shared passionately and made three altar calls. He said, number one, if you want to go out for missions, come out. That means if you want to be a missionary, I will send you to China, we will send you to we will send you to Iraq, Iran. Amen. We will send you to where? Japan. I know you want to you are waiting for Canada and uh, <laughs> US. <laughs> it is well. So number one, come out if you want to be a missionary. No, if you want to be sent out. Number two. If you want to give to his missions, come out. Because the ministry of his own. Number three, and I said, if you want to pray for missionaries, come out. And we came out for one of them. Amen. So what we are doing is what we've committed ourselves to years ago. It's what what? We have committed foolishly. I came out and we were prayed for before we even knew, talk about pastoring. We were prayed for years ago. We came out and we were prayed for now. When it was time, we were struggling. Say, Lord, have mercy! Hallelujah! Finally, let me not finally. What is that? Number one, number two, number. Three. Three, manifest, manifest, manifest. Romans 8 verse 19. Romans 8 verse 19. What did he say? For the earnest expectation of the creation waited for the manifestation of the sons and the daughters of God for the revealing. Let's rise up. But you manifest. Quiet and just appreciate this good.